the next topic. The next topic is of course the main menu. So um, uh, actually this phone has two main menus. Uh, one of the menus is on the outside which is the media menu and I'm going to show it to you a little bit later. That's the one with the uh, touch screen. And we have like the regular menu on this phone and the regular menu looks pretty much like any other Sony Ericsson phone. So you access that by opening the phone as you just seen. Then you use the uh, navigation keypad to uh, navigate the menu. What you can see in the uh, uh, in the background of the phone is the Facebook application. We're going to have, have a look at the internet usage a bit later. Um, to access the menu, actually you just press the uh, uh, button in the very middle as you know. So here we go and it's not a big uh, surprise. It looks like most Sunny Ericsson menus do and it's what I have to say, it's it's a big surprise what this phone can all do because um, if you use a proprietary operating system you're usually very much limited to uh, the functions. So what do we have here? We have Play Now which is the access to the um, internet, music access, game downloading, plus nowadays also film downloading platform as an Ericsson. There's the internet. Of course, we um, will investigate that a bit more. Um, some entertainment. Actually, um, entertainment is uh, radio, track ID that you might probably know, some games, um, and uh, yeah, the uh, usual stuff. There's also something else which is called remote play. I'm going to talk about that a bit later. So, the whole entertainment also gets a separate topic. The media menu can also be accessed this way, um, but we're going to do that from the outside. Messaging, um, yeah, looks just like regular messaging, not a big surprise. The camera can be accessed via this menu, but I would recommend to use the other one. There's some location services, that's another topic we're going to have a look at. Uh, the contacts, obviously, um, there aren't that many contacts in yet, but it looks just like any other Sony Ericsson phone, so we won't spend that much time on it. The music player, Confusingly gets an own icon. Um, actually, looks different to the other music player. Again, which is sort of strange because you can access the media player also via the media menu. Uh, seems a bit to me like they had to fill uh, like the 12th uh, topic on this grid. Um, the call log, actually we don't have any calls in yet, so there is no call log yet, but you may see uh, who called you, who you called and so on. The organizer contains some functions, uh, definitely we're going to have a short look at it later. And of course there's the set exit you can access. Actually when it comes to the um, to the menu, many people uh, tend to tell me when it comes to Sony Ericsson, well I don't want to buy Sony Ericsson because it looks so different to what I'm used to. So let's have a short look at it. Um, actually the uh, menu can be modified. Uh, for those people that say it's way too confusing. Um, uh, let me have a look. Um, it's it's not in the profiles. It's in the display exactly. So you can uh, just choose a different uh, main menu, and then you may enter a rotating menu. Um, let me have a look. So this is the rotating menu. But still, some people say, well, this is not like my Nokia used to be. Why is it always Nokia that people relate to? Um, so we may also switch that one again, display main menu, and then you may not use the grid, but single icons, and this looks pretty much like a Nokia phone. So here you can see all the different topics sorted again, top to bottom. Um, so you may do something with the menu, actually, if you think it's necessary to do so. Okay, so much about the media menu and the menu. We'll have a look at the media menu a bit later. The next subject is entertainment. And actually, this phone has quite some entertainment on it. I'm not just talking games because you might be very much used to games on phones, but um, it's got something special on it. So let's have a look at the entertainment. Well, radio counts as entertainment, uh, which is probably not meant to be serious. Trek ID could be named entertainment. Uh, that's a software that helps you to uh, identify a track that you're listening to. Actually, what you do is record it and uh, send it up to a database that tells you which artist and uh, it is and which is the uh, song's name and so on. So kind of handy. 
Um, then we got games. I'm uh, gonna get to Remote Play a little later. Um, there's two games on it, but you may download plenty of others. Uh, Quadrapop might be known to anyone who's uh, ever had a Sony Ericsson. Crazy Penguin is kind of some kind of jump and run games. Uh, quite, quite entertainment if you like games like that. Um, Photo Mate, um, also hardly to be called entertainment. Photo Mate is actually um, some uh, helping software that helps you to make better pictures, helps you to make frames, gives you short introductions, um, uh, what actually you can do with pictures, how to optimize them. So people that are on YouTube like taking pictures with a phone uh, and made this serious step from a small like one or two megapixel camera to this phone that has eight and might consider um, throwing away their old digital camera they might go for it because it's kind of like the basics that you need to know to take good pictures with a phone like this although it's definitely not gonna outnumber a digital camera but to make some quite nice shots on the way make pictures for eBay make some holiday shots uh, it's seriously quite a good idea to have it. The last thing I'd like to show you, and I'm sorry I can't show it live to you because uh, I'm lacking a PS3, is the so-called remote play. So what you can do actually is connect to a PS3 with this phone and uh, play it. Yeah, honestly. So I need to register it. Um, I will uh, have to connect to it, which I both can't. I would recommend using uh, Wi-Fi doing it. Uh, and you know this phone has Wi-Fi built in, but that's some pretty cool entertainment, so um, pretty nice. Actually, you might you ask yourself, last point of the list, uh, you might ask yourself why isn't games in the media menu? Because usually when you uh, have a Sony Ericsson phone, then you know switching on the media menu and there's your entertainment, there's your games. Well, this time it's not, and that's mainly due to the fact that the uh, games are not touchscreen compatible. So you got to play them with your regular keypad. That's why it's missing there and uh, popping up here. Okay, have fun. I guess you will.